Rockets are in a really interesting place right now. We all know James Harden is gone, Russell Westbrook is gone, and what are they left with? They traded Westbrook for John Wall, and they got pieces and draft picks in the James Harden trade that early returns doesn't look great. Where do the Rockets go from here? What do they do? With the second pick in the draft and multiple draft, pick, draft picks coming, where do they go from here? Enough with the bad though and in with the good. One acquisition the Rockets had was Kevin Porter Jr. from the Cleveland Cavaliers. And he's someone that I think can be a future star in this league. I absolutely love the skills and moves that he brings. Uh, his playmaking ability and shooting ability makes him someone that's really interesting and someone I think we can build around in the future. And yes, you did hear me correctly. I said we. Start a new series on this channel, new Rockets My League. My goal for this series is to make it as realistic as possible. I'm not going to make it all simulation. I will be playing some of the games on Hall of Fame. Give it the most realistic feel. By realistic, I mean I won't be making crazy trades. I won't be completely overpaying everyone in free agency and getting any free agent I want. I'm going to add a level of realism. I think will add a lot to the series. I think there's a lack of that on YouTube and I think there's a real market for it that people would want to watch of people rebuilding certain teams and making it actual, actually realistic. Uh, that's something I've always looked for on YouTube and I think this is a unique opportunity to start something like this. Um, and I'm really excited for this Rocket series and let's get into it. So the first order of business is the NBA Draft. With the second pick, there's a few guys that the Rockets could be looking at. Number one on the board is Jalen Green. Uh, this is assuming Cade Cunningham goes number one overall. But Jalen Green is the next guy up, and I think his athleticism and his scoring ability, his shooting, is something that you just can't get enough of in this league. It's a star-driven league, and I think him and Porter could be an amazing duo. And with Christian Wood going forward, and it would be an amazing core to build around. Uh, this is the number one guy on my board, and this is the guy I'm really looking forward to drafting. The only other guy in consideration here with Cunningham off the board would be Evan Mobley. Uh, he's a great center, new age center, really good athlete, great movement skills, really good defender, got an offensive game, he's got touch, uh, he's got shot blocking ability, and he's really just the perfect modern center. The only problem I see is when you're building a team from scratch like this Rockets team, I really think it's important in this day and age to have really good guard play and I think that'll take you farther. And I see Jalen Green as a potential superstar and I think Mobley could be too. But seeing guys like Trey Young and Donovan Mitchell and Devin Booker take over the league right now, I think we could be in a really good position to have Porter and Green and have one if not both become superstars. So with that, Houston Rockets. We have decided to select Jalen Green out of the G League Ignite. I'm really excited for this player. I think he's going to be a cornerstone of the team going forward and can't wait to see him on the court. The next pick of note is going to be a backup center, kind of dev developmental prospect, and Nemius Keita from Utah State. Uh, he adds little bit of offensive game that's the kind of he that's the part of his game that he has to develop but he's really long can be a really good defender and rebounder and i'm really excited to see what he can bring to the team now just looking around the league uh you see cade cunningham onto the pistons uh you have evan mobley to the cavaliers with jared allen moving on in this virtual offseason and then you have jalen suggs going to the raptors these are the other big names in the draft uh, I love what we got in Jalen Green. Just thought you guys would want to see what's going around in the league. Next thing moving along in the offseason is looking at team and player options. Uh, so first order of business is keeping Jay Sean Tate for sure. And then you see Avery Bradley here. He's a veteran that probably doesn't want to be on a rebuilding team as he can add um, some value defensively with uh, defensively and with shooting. So I'm not going to bring him back. Don't think he wants to be back. Since we already have a really young team, I thought it would be nice to bring in a veteran, bring some toughness and some defense off the bench. Signing Dwayne Dedman to a minimum contract, nothing big. Maybe he can fill in until Keto is ready to develop, if he can be something. And uh, let Olenek walk in free agency. He was going to be a bunch of money, and we already have a lot of young guys willing to take his place right now. But I feel good about it, and I think we just need to get let this team, this team develop. 
uh, let John Wall kind of be the leader for the first couple years and let Porter and Green develop. So kind of taking this offseason slow, letting our guys develop, and I think it's important to kind of build a culture and show that we really have something here and let these young guys blossom, and then that'll start to let us attract better free agents, better veterans, and let us move on and grow as a team so we can get better before we start attracting big names. So here's Dwayne Dedman, be a good veteran off the bench, smart player, excited to see what he can bring. Last few things of the offseason here, here's the player progression screen. Uh, it's important to note that Eric Gordon is starting to regress. Uh, Kevin Porter is probably going to replace him in the starting lineup with Jalen Green. Uh, I think he would be a prime candidate for like an all-star break trade uh, veteran player, go to a contender, be a good shooter, uh, we get some assets for him. And then here we go. This is what we love to see. Kevin Porter flying up and overall, shooting is getting better. This is the star. This is why you're the thumbnail. Let's go, Kevin. So here we go. Mr. Thumbnail is going to the combo guard training camp. He is our biggest priority right now. I think he can step in for John Wall once John Wall starts to regress. John Wall is on a huge, massive contract that I don't necessarily love. But I think he's good to have as a veteran presence in the beginning. I think Kevin Porter can actually take over for him as point guard. Jalen Green will eventually slide into the two. Um, we're also going to put in Jalen Green to get um, in another training camp to get his shooting up. That's his one knock that he's not an elite, elite shooter, but like the form is there. Everything is there. He has everything to be a great shooter. Uh, really exciting to see the progression for these guys. And last thing here, I wanted to show you guys the rotation a little bit. Uh, bringing Gordon off the bench, something he's completely fine doing. He's done it a bunch in his career. I'm really trying. I'm really trying to get Porter there. I think Porter will take the majority of the backup point guard minutes too. Although we do have DJ Augustine getting a few minutes. Uh, Deadman and Martin coming off the bench add some energy. Uh, Jalen Green and Kevin Porter are going to be getting the most minutes. I lowered John Walls a little bit, but yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Get ready for episode two. Here we go.